Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some of the main threats you might face if you're in a remote work environment. Now, in recent years, there has been a great shift in the way companies work, as employees can now pretty much do their entire job from the comfort of their homes. While remote work has undoubtedly brought a lot of benefits, it also has exposed businesses to a bunch of cybersecurity threats, as employees continue to access company resources from different locations, often using personal devices and unsecured networks. The attack surface has expanded significantly. So in today's video, we'll be taking a closer look at some cybersecurity threats that organizations face in a remote work environment and the different ways you can mitigate these risks other than the obvious solutions of having a reliable antivirus. Now, before we get into this video, if you're looking for an antivirus and you don't know where to start, I'll be leaving some links to antiviruses I personally recommend to friends and family in the description down below, along with some discounts. All right, so let's start with one of the most common cybersecurity threats, a remote work environment, which is phishing attacks. Phishing emails and messages are designed to trick individuals into revealing sensitive information, such as login credentials, financial data, or personal information. In a remote work setting, employees are often more susceptible to phishing attempts due to a lack of face-to-face -face communication and a reliance on digital communication platforms. Fishers often disguise their emails as legitimate communication from colleges, management, or trusted entities, making it difficult for remote employees to tell them apart from authentic messages. To deal with this threat, organizations must invest in effective email filtering systems, have regular employee training on recognizing phishing attempts, and implement multi-factor authentication for added security. For the next threat, we have inadequate network security. Now, working remotely frequently means connecting to the internet through various networks, including public Wi-Fi. Public networks are notoriously insecure, making remote employees vulnerable to network-based attacks. Cyber criminals can intercept data, launch man-in-the-middle attacks, and infiltrate devices through open, poorly secure networks. And so the easiest and most effective solution to such threat would be to use a reliable VPN. And that's because VPNs encrypt the data transmitted between the employee's device and the company's servers, which creates a secure tunnel that prevents unauthorized access. Employees should also be educated on the importance of avoiding public Wi-Fi when handling sensitive company information and encouraged to use secure networks or personal hotspots. With that being said, a lot of reliable antiviruses like Norton, Total AV, and McAfee now include VPNs within their plans. So you can basically get both a reliable antivirus and a VPN in one bundle without spending extra on standalone solutions. Now let's move on to the third threat you might face in remote work environments, and that is weak endpoint security. Endpoints such as laptops, smartphones, and tablets are the entry points for cyber threats. In a remote work environment, these devices may not be as well protected as they would be within a corporate network. Employees may not have the latest security patches and updates, and they may accidentally download malware or visit malicious websites. And so, to protect endpoint security, organizations should implement endpoint protection solutions, enforce device security policies, and regularly update and patch employee devices. With that being said, education and awareness are also pretty important as employees should be encouraged to use strong, unique passwords and be careful when downloading software or clicking on links from unverified sources. Moving on to the fourth threat, we have video conferencing vulnerabilities. With the increase in remote work, video conferencing platforms have become an essential tool for communication and collaboration. However, these platforms are not immune to cybersecurity threats. Video conferencing vulnerabilities can be exploited to eavesdrop on conversations, disrupt meetings, or gain unauthorized access to corporate discussions. That's why organizations should choose reputable video conferencing services with strong security features, such as end-to-end -end encryption and meeting password protection. It's also important to train employees on the proper use of these platforms, as well as regularly update and patch the software to address newly discovered vulnerabilities. Next on this list are social engineering attacks. Now, social engineering attacks, which manipulate individuals into revealing some sensitive information or performing harmful actions are highly effective in remote work environments. Attackers may impersonate trusted individuals such as coworkers or superiors to deceive remote employees. 
And here we go back to the importance of training and awareness in preventing social engineering attacks. Employees should be educated about the various tactics used in social engineering, such as pretexting, baiting, and tailgating. Also, organizations should encourage employees to verify the identity of individuals making unusual or sensitive requests, particularly if they are unable to do so in person. If you'd like to know more about social engineering attacks, I made a video that talks in depth about this sort of cyber attack. And I'll leave it in the description if you want to check it out. As for the final threat on this list, we have remote desktop protocol vulnerabilities. Many organizations rely on remote desktop protocols to facilitate remote access to computers and systems. However, RDP is a common target for cyber criminals looking to gain unauthorized access to corporate networks. Weak passwords, unpatched software, and misconfigured RDP setting can lead to security breaches. To enhance RDP security, organizations should use strong password policies, restrict RDP access to authorized individuals, and monitor RDP traffic for suspicious activity. It's also pretty important to regularly update and patch RDP software to address vulnerabilities and prevent exploitation. With that being said, antiviruses play a big role in protecting you, especially if you're working from home, as they're capable of identifying phishing attempts, detecting and eliminating malware, and keeping all your programs automatically up to date. So make sure you have a reputable one present on your computer and running in the background at all times. And that's basically it for cybersecurity threats that you might face in a remote work environment. If you guys are looking for an antivirus and don't know which one to go for, I'll leave some in-depth reviews in the description down below along with some discounts. So make sure to check that out. Also, if you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love interacting with you guys. And that will be all for today and I'll see you in the next one.